Hi and welcome back to Lust of Loving. Today we're going to take a look around this last portion of the map, do some exploring, and maybe, just maybe we'll confront Emperor Norton. Oh, hello, a customer. Why, hello, welcome to Master Gerald's Jewelry Shop. Howdy, are you Master Gerald? Oh no, Master Gerald is back there at his workbench. I'm just his assistant and translator. A goblin jewelsmith? You betting your britches, missy, and not forgetting it. He says that's right, the finest jeweler in the territory. Well, what do you know? I don't see anything on display though. Master Gerald only does bespoke work. If you bring in a sufficiently valuable gemstone, he'll craft it into a fine ring for you, for a fee. No trash rocks. Why don't we give him all of these? Let's start with the effluvious emerald. Uh, we got a nice ring out of that. Give him the cow's eye. That's pretty neat. And silvery strange crystal. You got a silicon ring. I think I'm gonna wear that. All right. So let's equip this real quick. Where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm blind. <laughs> there we go. Let's check out Ford Unnecessary. <laughs> it's um, an interesting name. A harried looking young woman in a military outfit darts in front of the door as you enter. Oh no, I can't be having any more misfits in this jerk ward. You can either swear to me that you're halfway competent, heck, even a quarter, and that you'll help sort out this crew of no-hopers, or you can turn right back around and march double time. Sure I'll help. What's, what's the matter? Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Come on in, I'm Captain Harriet Davenport. My name's Jesse McGree, what's the problem, Cap? Problems! Welcome to Camp Fubar, where all the army's idiots and rejects are sent so they're out of the way. I've had it up to my eyeballs trying to run this place. Please help these morons figure out their malfunctions so they can muster out of here and leave me in peace. How about some details? You'll need to talk to them individually for more information, but the brief is, we've got a scout who's blind as a bat, a cook who can't figure out how to make a corned beef hash on toast, a guy who can't load and fire a cannon without blowing it up or maybe shooting backwards, a guy who somehow, and I can't for the life of me figure it out, is too bow-legged to ride a horse, and a kid who was sent here because he can't figure out how to tie a bow tie. Oh, and just to put the icing on the cake, we have infinite goblins living in our storage shed. Oh my dear boy, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Wow, okay, I begin to see the scope of your complaint. Girl, you are not just whistling Dixie. So what do you do to get sent here? You can hear her teeth grinding as she growls at you. Do not ask. Howdy, do I know you? Your fuzzy silhouette don't seem familiar. No, I'm just passing through. What do you do here? He's the scout, duh. But I went and broke my only pair of glasses. Without him, I can't see a dang thing. Maybe these will help. Oh, okay, so looks like that helped him a little. Why don't we take a scout? Oh, never mind. We don't see anything. So we helped the first dude with his glasses. Uh, there's Sombra. Here's the bow-legged dude. Wait, that's not Sombra? What? Maybe it's his horse. Howdy, they call me Private Bowlegs. I can see why you seem uncomfortable. You ain't kidding. Look at my legs, they're bent so far out. I can hardly touch both knees at once. Walking hurts like a dickens. The captain said it keeps you from riding a horse? Yep, they're too wide. Horse slips right out between them. How did this even happen? Huh. I think I could ride a mule, though. What with them being a tad lower to the ground. Th ex what is he gonna do? How's that gonna help him? Is he gonna walk around the mule? There's a place up north that rents him out, but I can't get out there myself, so I need someone to go set up the contract on my behalf and have him send me one. Alright, we've discovered Alamo rents a mule. I guess. I guess we can go there now. We have some time to spare. Where is this location? There we go. Maybe we could get a mule ourselves, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, we got some coffee, blah blah blah, smelling salts. I haven't used any of these items yet, it's a real shame. I can't find anything in my inventory. Okay, oh this looks like the churches that we've been in. Yeah, probably find some needles in these haystacks. It's pretty lucky, actually. Oh. Howdy, welcome to Alamo Rent-A-Mule. How can I help you? I'd like to rent a mule. 
Don't you have a horse? What do you need a meal for, lady? Maybe I would just like a horse, okay? 1500 meat? Why is it so expensive? Lifetime contract? Ex that's not even renting at that point. That's, that's just straight out buying. Technically, we should change the name to Alamo Buy a Mule, but we'd have to change all our branding. And you can't really rebrand a mule. They're too wary after the first time. What? How did you brand the mule? Do you like burn them with like a, a literal iron brand? Oops. Complaints? Oh great, another customer. As if I didn't have enough to deal with already. What with the paperwork and the heat and the mule bites. And someone keeps stealing my lunch out of the employee icebox. And my trick knuckle is acting up again. Gosh. Sure would be nice to get a little peace and quiet, but nope. I've got to stand here at this computer all day and the hardwood floor isn't helping my sciatica. Let me tell you, don't even get me started on what they pay us around here. The mules eat better than I do. <laughs> and if all that wasn't bad enough, I went and dropped my daughter's birthday present down a stupid hole out of stupid mine. And will anyone go down and get it for me? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, you want me to go get it? Wait, really? Did a miracle just occur? I can hardly believe it. Where'd you lose it? So apparently his bracelet rolled into a hole under a stupid machine. All right, okay. Apparently we're too poor to rent a mule, so I guess I'll go to deepest delve of mine. Maybe we'll find some meat in a minecart. Cause that usually happens. Coal Smasher 5000. That's neato. This weird shaft thing goes down further than you can see. Ooh. Ah, what's happening here? There's a little toolbox. We got a gas cap. Mine some of that. Guess there's nothing more here. So let's get back to the main entrance and we'll see if we can find his daughter's bracelet. I wonder if maybe it's actually his bracelet and he just told us it was his daughter's to, um, you know, save him the embarrassment. There's nothing to be embarrassed if you're a dude who owns a bracelet, of course, but I, I don't know. I don't know how this game works, okay? You pull the lever, but nothing happens. A quick peek at the generator reveals that it's out of kerosene. Let's fuel it up and replace the cap. And before we write it down, let's see if there's anything here. Oh, nope. Okay. There's a lever. How modern. Let's, oh, no, I don't want to stay on level one. Whoopsies. Let's go to level two. Oh, looks like a, some s looks like another sort of nice dining area. I don't know what happened to you know my my accent there. That was strange. So I guess this is where they take their breaks and drink alcohol and stuff. Nice cupboard. Oh ah, these people are so creepy. Jesus Christ, maybe I should try to blend in because um they're making me really nervous and I feel like I'm about to die, so you know, maybe if they think I'm one of them, they'll have mercy on me. These cultists are really going to town with the whispering and tracing of spirals in the air, and generally being really creepy cult weirdos. One of them notices you approaching and nods politely before going back to her muttering and whatever. She's the only one that notices you, and none of them seem inclined to get out of your way. Hmm, guess we have to fight them. Oh boy, um, I don't like where this is going. We don't do a lot of damage, but maybe we can pull through if we play our cards right. <laughs> I usually screw this up, so you know, don't expect much. Now, do we want to do 15 cold damage, or do we want to try to take someone out right away? Hmm. I doubt Gary can do 100 damage to this dude, so I guess we'll go for the AoE, maybe? Okay. And reduce their stats so that they do less damage to us. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're boosting their own stats. That's interesting. Okay, this is starting to look a bit dicey, but, um, you know, have faith in me. I'm, I'm fantastic at this game. I'm a master combat person who's good at calc, who's good at combat things. Um, things are gonna look real bad after our bean golem dies, but hey, um... Okay, I have nothing, nothing optimistic to say about that. Things are gonna look bad if he dies. <laughs> That's all. That went a lot better than I expected. We got a tentacled badge, sasperl. Okay, okay, so sasperl. So I guess the cultists are connected to the Alvarado business. Let's see, big cross, blah blah blah. 
We got the cross. Can we do anything with it? Hello? This cross-shaped piece of El Vibrato technology is positively thrumming with plot significance. Alright. So I guess that's the um, extent of this area. Let's go to floor 3. I still haven't found any meat, which is making me nervous because I really want to rent a meal for that guy. Uh, thing is really heavy. Oh, I'm not muscular enough. That's unfortunate. What's this? Child's bracelet. Awesome. What's happening? It's ready to be grabbed. Ah, okay. So we grabbed the coal from level one. All right, got it. Let's get these toilets flushed. Ugh. Oh, more cultists. It's still early in the morning, so you know, I'm just going to blame my incompetence on that. All right, let's activate the switch. There's a button labeled smash. Of course we want to press it because we're the Hulk. There we go, we got super dense coal. We're not gonna F around with the cultists anymore. We're just gonna go straight back to... Where am I going? Where am I going? Who's the dude? Oh, Ford Unnecessary. I have a terrible memory sometimes. So, oh, what's happening here? A goblin suddenly runs up with an armload of driftwood and dumps it out in front of you. Hello, look, sculptures I am making. You are buying an art, yes? Well, um, buying an art or killing. Okay, this this is an aggressive artist. Let's let's talk to him. Wow, jeez, that's a little over the top. Excuse me, a little over the top. Buying art now. Okay, okay. How much wanting for one of these art? Three hundred meats. Let's haggle. I don't wanna. I don't wanna pay that much. Three hundred meats is crazy price. I haggling. 250 meats or killing. Oh man, okay, I can't resist a bargain, okay? We were gonna get some more, you know, meat to grind. We were gonna get some more meat to buy a mule, but um, I need the sculpture in my life, so, you know, it's all worth it in the end. What does it do to my stats? Seven armor? Hey, not too bad, not too shabby at all. Excuse me, please, please, just, just, just stop it. Get away. Oh, jeez. Okay, this this isn't the right guy. What am I doing? What am I doing? Is my memory really this bad? So we got a bracelet for someone. Who did we get the bracelet for? We got the bracelet for the Alamo Rent a Meal dude. I am the worst person in the entire world. <laughs> Can I even blame this on not getting enough sleep? I don't think so. I'm just bad. Hey, I found your daughter's bracelet. Wow, thanks a bundle. It's a real tragedy that there are so few selfless and kind-hearted people like you in the world willing to do a hugely dangerous favor for a total stranger without any expectation of a reward with a minimum. Okay, of a reward. That was very, very specific and long-winded. I wonder if he's speaking from, um, personal experience? Let's get back to... no, no, no. Do we have gold? We don't... We don't have meat. Why don't we go back to... Is there a merchant in Breadwood? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go back to Dirtwater, visit our old friends, because I miss them. All right, let's get in here. Aww. We don't see Cactus Bill anymore. I guess I could always visit him at Olive Garden, but you know. Oh, oh my gosh, I swear. Oh, Jesus Christ, I went into the wrong store. I want to go to the mercantile, not the bar. Although I could use a drink after all this did a ridiculous business. Hey, I've got the money you wanted. Hello? I'd like to rent a mule. Okay, she's gonna deliver the mule. Alright, let's get back to Fort Unnecessary. How about some more of those incompetent fools that are residing there? He takes the contract and slowly moseys outside to wait for his mule. Dude, he owes me 1500 me. What's wrong with him? Hey, what's up? You're a dude that's terrible at loading cannons. Alright, what can I do for you? You know what, let's teach him how to load cannons. Give him the book, Cannon Loading for Idgits. <laughs> uh, he flips through the pages. Oh, okay. So he figured it out. Awesome. <laughs> Look at all these broken cannons. He's so bad. So bad. All right. Anyone else I can help? Who's in the mess hall? Ah, uh, there's so many people here. Guess we can uh, help this dude. What are you? Aw, oh, gee willikers, I had a pretty good job as the general's personal assistant, but I got fired and re-signed here. What happened? I'm pretty good at scheduling, and I can write shorthand, and I'm an A-plus boot polisher. But then the general went and decided he'd look more serious and sophisticated with a bow tie, and he expected me to do the tying for him. Ooh, 
Do we have a clip on bow tie? Yes, we do. There you go, buddy. You shoot yourself a wink. Oh. Cool. Hey, Jesse. How you doing? There's a name plan on the desk that says General, what's his name? Medal of Adequacy. All right. Well, ooh, that's pretty good. Why don't we use that? We're adequate. Howdy, private cooker. How appropriate. Well, it would be if I knew how to cook, like, even a little bit. What seems to be the trouble? We've only got two ingredients here, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to combine them. Um, <laughs> excuse me, sir? Uh, okay, what are the ingredients? Corn, beef, hash, and toast. <laughs> Try to help him with the metaphor. What if you thought of the toast as your elbow? He nods, seeming to understand where you're going with this. And think of the corned beef as your head. So I should... Put the corn beef hash under, no, next to, no, no, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Can we try again? Sure, let's, let's, let's go. Okay, what if you thought of the toast as a shingle and think of the corn beef as your head? <laughs> what if you thought of the toast as a road map and think of the corned beef as a hole in the ground? No, come on, dude, that makes perfect sense. You know, like, you have the map, X marks a spot, you dig you dig in the ground, you dig a hole to find the treasure. I don't know where I'm going with this either. Okay, let's try again. What if you thought of the toast as a shoe? He nods, and think of the corned beef as... Uh, Shinola. Of course, I put the corned beef on the toast, just like Shinola on a shoe. I get it now. Thank you. I don't think you get it, dude. I don't think you get it at all, but hey, whatever works for you, I guess. Okay, get out of the mess hall. Have we helped everyone? All right, we got 300 XP. Pretty sweet. All in a good day's work. How about let's level our character and we're gonna get we're gonna get hot on the trail of Emperor Norton. So what we're gonna do is upgrade our Lava Fava and then upgrade our Great Northern Blizzard. What should we do next? Maybe another Great Northern Blizzard? Ah, wonderful. So we do lots of AoEs to all the enemies. Pretty cool. Let's get back to Frisco and follow the train tracks. Oh. But first, let's open that. Ooh, so much stuff! That I'll never use. <laughs> Let's follow the tracks. You jump onto Sombra's back and ride like the wind, following the railroad tracks back into the desert. When you finally catch up, you stand up on Sombra's saddle and leap onto the back of the train like a real badass, just barely catching the edge of the roof and pulling yourself up. Here's hoping you don't have to do that again. Your stuntman could have been killed. Looks like Gary decided not to join you on account of not having a stuntman, so you're on your own until you get back to Frisco. Oh no. Top the stolen train. Well, there's Emperor Norton. Let's climb down and see if we can get some materials before we, um, you know, deal with that idiot. <laughs> Sorry, is it bad that I called him an idiot? Turns out there's a locked safe here. Maybe we can upgrade our lock picking. Oh, we should have done that when we upgraded our character. No. Wait, what? What do we need? Safe crack in five. Where are we now? Safe crack in four. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the episode. Next time I'm gonna upgrade my safe kraken skill. We're gonna fight this Emperor Norton dude business person man and hopefully we'll beat him because he's a real jerk. He threw anti-venom in my eyes. I still need to get him back for that. Anyway, see ya, goodbye.